you know that in Ratchet for Cinema 4D, you should first select the correct BSDF before you start shading? BSDF is the abbreviation for Bidirectional Scattering Distribution Function. Sounds very boring, but this is the basis for credible shading. Because this mathematical function describes how light coming from a certain direction is reflected into other directions. In other words, a BSDF describes the character of diffuse light on an object's surface, from the brightest point to the day-night boundary, the so-called terminator. In Ratchet for Cinema 4D, we have the choice between three different BSDFs. These are hidden in the standard material node, in the base properties, under diffuse model. The default is a Lambert BSDF introduced by Johann Heinrich Lambert in 1760, long before anyone had even thought of computers. This function describes perfectly smooth and slick surfaces with the same brightness from every viewing angle and a crisp light-dark gradient. Lambert is ideal for plastic, glass, varnished wood, water and all more or less smooth and slick surfaces. Now you'll ask yourself, wait a minute, where does it say Lambert? Nowhere. Lambert is hiding in the base properties behind the default Oranaya model, but with 0% roughness. That's Lambert. And that brings us to the next BSDF, Oranaya. Developed in 1993 by Michael Oren and Sri Naya, it is based on the Lambert model, but adds micro facets to the calculation. That means random tiny bumps based on a height field. This gives the material a roughness and results in a softer, more satiny looking light dark gradient and a slightly Fresnel like brightening towards the edges. However, the roughness of Oranaya also significantly reduces the brightness of a material and makes it look a little dull. Oranaya can be used in Redshift by moving the diffuse roughness slider to the right. 0% roughness means pure Lambert behavior. 100% roughness or 1 means full Oranaya. So you can seamlessly blend back and forth between Lambert and Oranaya. The third BSDF in Redshift is hidden in the diffuse model drop down menu and is called Dion Lambertian Spheres, developed by Eugene Dion in 2021. This model also calculates roughness like Oranaya and shows a correspondingly soft light gradient. However, instead of a height field with Lambertian behavior, the micro facets are based on small spheres with Lambertian behavior. This preserves brightness and saturation of the material and optimizes the rendering of rough, porous materials. Let's take a look at the use of different BSDFs in this animation scene. All parts of the mass probe are made of more or less smooth, shiny and slick materials. Plastic, glass, metal. They therefore use a Lambert BSDF to be found under the diffuse model or in Naya with 0% roughness. The surface of the mass, on the other hand, is a prime example of a rough surface. Therefore, or in Naya would be classically appropriate here. But Dion Lambertian spheres, however, produces a much crisper but equally rough overall result. It can therefore be concluded that Dion Lambertian spheres is actually the better Oranaya and should therefore rather be used for completely rough surfaces. Please have a look at the finished project for second German television via the link below. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and don't miss the next episode of Did you know Redshift for Cinema 4D every Wednesday on this channel.